renowned for his iconic role as the Wizard Boy. Daniel Radcliffe is back with the long-awaited and evocative Harry Potter 20th anniversary. Return to Hogwarts, leaving all the Potterheads worldwide in awe. A versatile actor on stage and screen, Radcliffe has pushed the boundaries of acting with multiple unconventional roles in critically acclaimed movies. Apart from his magic on screen, this brilliant actor is also known for his luxurious living and opulent abodes. So, in this article, let's take a look at the wondrous decor of his beautiful house in New York, his other properties, career, achievements and more. Come and join us in this journey. After bidding goodbye to the wizarding world, Daniel Radcliffe bought a new house in the West Village worth $5.65 million. The vintage 1,800 square feet townhouse stands tall in the most scenic cobblestone blocks lined by lush green trees. You would be amazed to know that along with Daniel's property, two other adjoining homes in the area were built by a sea captain in 1847. The grand three story property comprises a living room, four bedrooms, kitchen, dining room, powder room, six working fireplaces, three bathrooms, and a balcony facing the garden. There is also a separate one-bedroom apartment that boasts an eye-pleasing wood-burning fireplace and a picturesque window offering fascinating views of the garden. While the living room displays minimalism with high ceilings, subtle, neutral wall paint and furnishings, the bedrooms reflect the country-style interior. Its classic wooden furniture pieces blend seamlessly with the artistic wall paintings, while huge windows offer mesmerizing outdoor views. Stepping inside his urbane, sleek and exclusively equipped galley-style kitchen, one would experience a cozy ambience where countless special moments can be spent. The kitchen is tucked between two distinct but united areas. One is an ultra-modern windowless dining area just inside the front door, whereas the other is a living area that features a huge sliding panel mounted, floating bookshelf and a sun-facing floor-to-ceiling window wall. This reading area slides to a guest bedroom with an attached bathroom. The master bedroom is designed with a roomy walk-in closet and a marble-floored bathroom containing a supersized soaking tub. The building also flaunts all the quintessential features of a downtown NYC luxury property, including a colossal fitness center, a gigantic swimming pool and a spacious garage. Another property he owns in NYC is a huge luxury complex along the West Side Highway. With three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, this property is bigger than the other condo of Radcliffe. The majestic views of the Hudson River from the apartment is one of its main highlights. Daniel Radcliffe's home in Fulham, West London, is where he spent his entire childhood. In fact, the house is so close to his heart that even after becoming a Hollywood star, Daniel used to split his time of stay between his homes in New York City and Fulham. However, his childhood home hit the market in 2016 and went on sale for £1.45 million or about $2.1 million. When Radcliffe moved out of the house, the property was refurbished into a luxury whitewashed family home with an exposed brickwork feature wall, a double reception room, a modern kitchen and a private garden. Daniel also sold his luxury apartment in Melbourne to his parents, Marcia Gresham and Alan Radcliffe, for £2 million in 2021. It is a three-bedroom pad in Turak on the top floor of the complex with a huge open-plan living area overlooking the Yarra River. The actor purchased this property when he was working in Australia in the mid-2000s. Apart from the three bedrooms, the lavish apartment comprises spacious outdoor areas floor-to-ceiling windows, an ultra-modern kitchen, a storage cage, two undercover car parks and a terrace. Although Daniel is known as an actor who shot to fame with the iconic role of the 11-year-old Harry Potter, he entered the acting world when he was only six. Radcliffe played the role of a monkey in a school play then. He caught the attention of Kate Harwood when he passed an audition for Oliver Twist, a television production of Charles Dickin. Kate was impressed by his simplicity and charm and cast him in the title role of David Copperfield, 1999. Two years later, Radcliffe was seen in The Tailor of Panama, 2001. The world is aware of the fact that J. K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 2001, 
was Radcliffe's big break that turned out to be a box office hit. Daniel replayed his iconic role in all Harry Potter sequels, right from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, 2002, to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1, 2010, and Part 2, 2011. A prolific stage actor, Radcliffe also tested the versatility of his craft via multiple unconventional roles in notable movies. He appeared as a young lawyer in the horror flick, The Woman in Black, 2012, and received numerous accolades for his excellent performance. His character as a poet and activist in Kill Your Darlings, 2013, also conquered many hearts. Some other experimental roles Radcliffe played include Ignatius Parrish in Horns, 2013, Walter Mabry in Now You See Me Too, 2016, and Miles Lee Harris in Guns Akimbo, 2019. Radcliffe even pushed his boundaries to play the character of a corpse, Manny, in the critically acclaimed film The Swiss Army Man, 2016. This versatile actor has been honored with several awards such as Best Young Performer in Broadcast Film Critics Association, 2001, Best Actor in Empire Awards, 2007, Best Fantasy Actor in Scream Awards, 2011, Man of the Year in Glamour Awards, 2013, and Choice Comedy TV Actor in Teen Choice Awards, 2019. 10 Interesting Tidbits on Daniel Radcliffe You Just Can't Miss whether or not you are a Harry Potter fan, you cannot afford to miss out on these fantastic and rare facts about Daniel Radcliffe. Take a look. Daniel Radcliffe broke more than 80 wands while shooting for the Harry Potter movies as he used them as drumsticks. He was offered the lead role of Harry Potter when he was in the bathtub at his childhood home. Daniel Radcliffe is known for losing cigarette lighters and borrowing one from his fans. In one of his interviews, he mentioned how he sometimes arrives at work half drunk. Surprisingly, Daniel is 5 feet 5 tall, which many of his fans might not know. Apart from acting, he is also known for his poetry. You can see some of his work published under the name of Jacob Gershon. Daniel had his portrait drawn at the age of 14, displayed in the National Portrait Gallery in London. He feels uncomfortable seeing his female fans cry. Daniel wanted to become a professional cricket player at a young age and wished to join the England cricket team. Radcliffe believed that Justin Bieber was a woman when he first heard him singing. In a nutshell owning to a successful career since childhood, Daniel Radcliffe is a living testimonial to his fans, proving time and again that determination and dedication is the only way to success. He established his stardom with his titular role in Harry Potter sequels and many other unique roles throughout his journey. The actor also claims to have got a lucky break for playing Harry Potter in the renowned franchise. Talking about his New York and Melbourne homes, they are nothing less than paradises that truly reflect the actor's rich tastes and preferences. Embrace the home decor ideas from Daniel Radcliffe's abode that juxtaposes minimalism and luxury effortlessly. And if you happen to be a Harry Potter fan, we are sure you just cannot wait to lend your home a splendid makeover and transform it like Daniel's.